The most commonly used indicator to assess the health of a labor market is the unemployment rate. But is it also the best indicator? To verify this, you must first know that the population can always be divided into three groups. Employed, unemployed and inactive. Employed people have a job. Unemployed people do not have a job but are looking for one. Inactive people finally do not have a job either, but are also not looking for one. These inactive include the discouraged unemployed, house husbands and housewives, the long-term sick and early retirees. The unemployment rate indicates then the percentage of all those who are willing to work who do not have a job. In other words, it's a division of the unemployed by the sum of the unemployed and the employed. In this calculation, however, the inactive are completely out of the picture. And that is a problem. I like to compare it with an iceberg. Although the unemployed are only the tip of the labor reserve, labor market policy in recent decades has focused rather one-sidedly on them. The much larger labor reserve of inactive people remained largely below the waterline. Also in the often used indicator of the employment rate, inactive people remain somewhat invisible. Indeed, this indicator shows what percentage of the complete population works. The remaining percentage includes both the unemployed and the inactive, and this means they are not distinguished from each other. This is a problem because both groups should be treated differently to tempt them to the labor market. What the iceberg decomposition proposes is to compare labor markets on the basis of two simple measures. First, the unemployment to population ratio, which indicates how many unemployed there are among the entire population. And second, the inactivity to population ratio, which indicates how many inactive people there are among the entire population. These two figures represent both the size of the tip of the iceberg, as well as how large the mass of ice under the waterline is. Immediately it becomes clear that a government has every reason to go out of its way to tempt these inactive people towards the labor market. 